Hey everyone, I have a sort of a combination video for you today. This is a freeware that's available at the Sim Outhouse website, simouthouse.com under the Warbirds Library. This is the de Havilland Vampire. So this is a military jet that was developed in begin experimental aircraft development in 1941. So during the Second World War, development began on the de Havilland Vampire. It's a single engine, twin boom aircraft powered by a Halford H1 turbojet. Later, that same engine was produced as the Goblin. Aside from its propulsion system and the twin boom configuration, it's a relatively conventional aircraft. In May of 1944, it was decided to produce the aircraft as an interceptor for the Royal Air Force. And then in 1946, a Vampire entered operational service with the RAF, only months after the war ended. So, um, it's got a, a good history. Like I said, it's available at Sim Outhouse. Now, you do have to sign up to do download aircraft from their library. It doesn't cost anything. It's a free membership. It's a forum. But, you know, these are freeware, so you take your chance when you download and install it. So let that be a warning, you know, it's, it's comes from some developer and it's there. And so you take your chance when you download it. But this is a, a pretty good one right here. Again, this is the de Havilland Vampire FP-5, a really sweet aircraft. And so, like I said, this is sort of a combination video. And by that, it's one, a way of just showing and letting people know that this aircraft exists. I discovered it because of FlightSim.to, one of the developers that I follow there, Janky, released some paint kits for it. Otherwise, I wouldn't even have known that this aircraft exists. So again, simouthouse.com, it's a free sign up in the forum and you can download this aircraft as well as others. This is the only one I've ever downloaded from there. And so I thought it would be a fun one to try out one because of its history and what it is. And also as part of the ongoing trial of Sim Update 11 beta release 1.29.22.0. So I am flying that right now, 1.29.22.0. You can see my settings here. I'm flying with almost everything up on high. Some things that I would normally have had off, I have turned on. I'm using DirectX 12. I'm using the DLSS options. Now, DLSS 3 is not yet available for the SIM on a whole, and it's only really going to be supported by the 40 series graphics card. However, DLSS and DLSS 2 are supported by the 30 series graphics cards and they are imp making improvements to that as well with the Sim Update 11. So yes, I'm not using DLSS 3. Uh, I would be using DLSS 2 with my 3070 RTX card. But even aside from that, just the overall, you know, I got to add some snow to these mountains. I'm in the French Alps, by the way, and using the paint kit on the aircraft for the French Air Force, so I thought it would be fitting. <laughs> um, the aircraft overstress is really easy, but a lot of aircraft, a lot of the jets back then had that issue, and so this one definitely, if you get too fast, you will end up overstressing it. But it handles quite nicely, and the cockpit is very basic, but it still looks really nice. And performance of it with Sim Update 11 Beta has been fine. I take off with it, I'm flying with it fine. I'm not seeing any glitches anywhere. So, handles pretty good. I, I must say that with this new sim update, I love being able to fly with bloom, ambient occlusion, and the reflect. Look at the reflections coming up on this river up here. 
and we got the bloom on and ambient occlusion on and you know just not that long ago I would have been flying with all those things turned off in VR and this is VR it's all Quest 2 headset using Steam VR wireless performance I do not use the Oculus app or the Oculus link options I don't like it it doesn't perform well for me on my system I use Steam VR virtual desktop wireless and I'm happy with this performance personally and if you think it's good well my settings are out there I have a video on my channel the link is also in my description for my most current settings and you just saw the screenshots of the settings that I'm flying under for my most recent sim update 11 beta testing so hopefully this helps and I'll continue to test I know some people are having problems with it uh, I do know that if you made the setting change to the DPI for the Microsoft Flight Sim executable, that does cause crashes, and I'm sure there's plenty of other add-ons and configuration changes that have been made to improve performance that may have to be undone as our own personal tweaks or workarounds now. Uh, like I said, that's one of the fixes that is common out there or has been, is going in, getting into the properties of the executable itself and changing, you disable full screen optimizations and then I think it's the DPI optimization or utilization. And if that is enabled and selected, if you follow that fix, Sim Update 11 is most likely gonna cause crashes on your system. You have to undo that fix. But anyhow, I've been having great performance with it. I have, I think, now seven or eight videos proving and showing the performance that I'm getting. I hope this helps. We'll see you in the skies.